Hi guys, so today we are solving this log problem. But before we get into the problem, let's go through some log rules. All right, so first we are looking at log base A. A is always equals to 1. So if the base and the number are same, then they are equal to 1. So let us suppose it is log 10 and then 10 is equals to 1. Okay, our next log rule is log base A U plus log base A V is equals to log base A U times V. Okay, another one is log A U minus log A V and that is equals to log A U divided by V. Okay, so it is u divided by v. Okay. Uh, another rule that we're going to use in this problem is log a u to the power of any number x and that will become x log a u. Okay, so the power comes in the front, so it's times log or if it is something times log that becomes the power so it can go either ways okay so we're going to do, use these laws or these log properties in our question all right now let's go into our main question okay so the first equation here so we have to solve these equations simultaneously so the first equation is log 10 to the base 10 x squared plus y squared is equals to 1 and we just did the property that log 10 log base 10 10 is also equals to 1 so instead of 1 we will write it as log base 10 10 and then plus log base 10 13 okay so that is the first equation now let's simplify a little more log base 10 x squared plus y squared is equals to log base 10 and then again using the second property here it will become 10 times 13 okay so it is log base 10 x squared plus y squared is equals to log base 10 and 130 okay so if log base 10 x squared plus y squared is equals to log base 10 130 then we can say that therefore x squared plus y squared is equals to 130 and that is our equation number a or equation number one however you want to write it okay now let's tackle the second equation and then the second equation is log base 10 x plus y minus log base 10 x minus y is equals to 3 log base 10 2 okay now here we have minus in between so we are going to use this minus equation or we can say property number three there so it is log base 10 and when it is minus we divide the values and that is equals to now three log base 10 let's use the last property and that will become the power so that is going to become log base 10 2 to the power of 3 okay so now because of that we can say x minus y or x plus y over x minus y is equals to 2 cube which is 8 and that is our equation number 2 now that we have got two equations we can solve them simultaneously so let's solve let's simplify this equation further is equals to 8 times x minus y so x plus y is equals to 8 x minus 8 y so now we can have x minus 8 x is equals to minus y minus y minus 7 x is equals to minus 9 y so x is equals to minus 9 y over 7 which is equals to 9 over 7 y now that now that we have got the value of x we can substitute this value into 
second equation and find the values of x and y. So here we have x squared plus y squared is equals to 130 from equation 1. Okay, so when we substitute x is equals to 9 over 7y, it will be 9 over 7y whole squared plus y squared is equals to 130. 81 over 49y squared plus y squared is equals to 130. Now we can take y squared common. We have 81 over 49 plus 1. 130 y squared 81 plus 49 over 49 I hope you all know how to solve fractions y squared equals to that becomes 130 over 49 is equals to 130 so y squared is equals to 130 times 49 over 130 30 cancel so y squared is equals to 49 y is equals to plus minus 7 okay so now that we have got the value of y we can find the value of x so x was equals to 9 over 7 y when we substitute the value of y we can say x is equals to 9 over 7 when you use plus 7 it's going to be 9 and if you use x is equals to 9 over 7 minus 7 that is going to give you minus 9 okay so x is equals to plus minus 9 and y is equals to plus minus 7 but this is not the answer yet okay so now we have got the two values we've got x as plus minus 9 and we have got y as plus minus 7 now we need to make sure which which of these values are valid because for the logs we can only have positive values right and in our question if we look we have log of 10 x plus y so that could be a simple thing to check so we need x plus y as a greater than zero as a positive number right so if we have x as 9 and y as 7 yes it's a positive but if we have x as minus 9 and y as negative 7 it's not possible so therefore the answers are the actual answer is that x is equals to 9 and y is equals to 7 right i hope this makes sense have a good day